What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel. And it is WrestleMania week, and we're going to be doing a WrestleMania vlog. And it is WrestleMania week, and we're going to be doing a WrestleMania vlog, and we're going to start it off today. I have a very top secret project filming here today. It's going to be here in a few minutes. Can't talk about it now, but when the time is ready, it's probably going to blow a lot of your minds. Then we got MDT, My Damn Toys, coming over to check out the Heel Cave. Love MDT. Uh, we met last year at WrestleMania. We're going to be hanging out again this year. And then we're going to WWE World tomorrow, Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, WrestleCon, Wrestling for Sale, doing a book signing there, WrestleMania, wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. So it's going to be a good one, guys. Stay tuned. Stepping foot in the WWE Superstore makes it official. We are at WrestleMania. So I'm going to give you a quick little run through of the store, show you everything that they had going on here. A lot of t-shirts everywhere and even more people. Uh, you will notice over here they had this booth and it is a lids booth and it's a custom lids booth. So basically you could pick out any of these WWE hats, bring it to the front, Tell them what you want. They'll put additional logos on it. They'll put your name on it. I thought that was pretty cool. Here's a couple samples right here. See, they're throwing up the Rock logo, Becky Lynch, American Nightmare Cody logo. Over here, we got some more. We got some Seth Rollins, KO, Logan Paul, LA Knight. A lot of cool stuff over here. I mean, they were just loaded with shirts, some of which I had never even seen in pictures or online before, which is always really fun to see. Uh, I got jerseys. Love this. Wrestle effing mania. If this doesn't tell you that we are getting out of the PG era, then I don't know what will. Uh, putting effing on a shirt in 2024 for WWE just tells me I feel like this Netflix era is going to be something special. This is a quick 360 of the entire place. It was massive. It was like a dick sporting goods just loaded with WWE merchandise. But as the fig heel, you know there's one piece of merchandise that I'm interested in, and that's figs. Action figures, WWE Mattel and Funko. We're going to take a look. They had a lot of basics, a lot of ultimates, and some pretty good elites. The prices were definitely inflated. I only picked up one figure. I picked up the Chase Mr. T Basic Series 143 with the long sleeves, basically because I haven't been able to find it. And they only had one at the store at the time. When I went to go ring it up, it was $20. Uh, that did sting a little bit. I did want to get the top picks, Elite, Logan Paul, but I wasn't going to get that if it was double in price as well. Came over to the action figures to see the kind of reveals that we had. If you notice, we did have Tatanka over there, which was pretty cool. I was taking a video of his new figure, and he was standing right next to me. Surreal moment. Um, a lot of stuff here. Superstars, Elites, Ultimates, Basics. I'm sorry, Main Events. Uh, I will show you in a few minutes a detailed run through of all of the cases, but right now we're just doing a quick little skim showing everything. I was actually very impressed with the upcoming main event line, and I'm super stoked for the Monday Night Roars. I really wish we saw a few more retros other than uh, Bruce Pritchard, and of course they did show off that title. It was kind of hidden there, which I thought was pretty cool. It took me a second to notice it. Loving that Seth Rollins Ultimate. Over on the other side of the booth, they had even more action figures. Here's where the elites and such were. Um, again, the only figure I picked up was Mr. T. The Coliseum collection, I gotta be honest, I was hoping we were gonna see something more than what we've already seen, but that's okay. This was easily my favorite case though. Dudley boys, headbangers, bushwhackers, so, so cool. There's Steve right there. That low rider, I usually skip out on wrecking stuff. Gonna have to pick up that low rider. A lot of people were asking about that rock statue. It was really just paying homage to the Philadelphia Rocky statue. 
I do not foresee us getting that in action figure form at retail, but still fun to see, right? And here's a couple of the tags. And over here, underneath the Ultimate Edition display, they had the Cast Your Vote poster for the upcoming Fan Takeover Ultimates. They got John Cena and Randy Orton. Comment who you want to see, but we're going to go take a run through of the rest of the store. stuff I have yet to see in stores. Hurricane, Rikishi, even had the Fanatics exclusives, which was awesome. I had a feeling, but this huge Undertaker was amazing. Now we're going to do another quick run through of the figures. I know you guys want to see a little more detail. We got Trish there, Tony D'Angelo, both Sandmans, Cody Rhodes, Shinsuke, a lot of great stuff that I'm so excited about, man. Uh, look at the low rider again. We've got Kane. We got this SummerSlam. We got Judgment Day, Trish Stratus, Ricochet, New Bailey, the Monday Night Wars are incredible. We got DDP here, those upcoming uh, Fake Diesel, Disciple, Harlem Heat, Ultimate Eddie, Ultimate Mankind. Kurt Hennig is getting his first ever NWO WCW elite figure. Rap is crap, even comes with the cowboy hat. Commissioner Michaels is back in the fold. We have that split face t-shirt, Austin, as well as a re-release of that tactical gear, Big Boss Man. I love retros. These new retros that we've seen weeks ago, Alundra Blaze, Isaac Yankum, Shawn Michaels, and British Bulldog are great, but we are getting a brother love in the retro line. Moving over to the Ultimates, this John Cena is absolutely incredible. I love the colors. That much-anticipated Outsiders 2-pack at ringside. The fan takeover, Seth Rollins, is one of the best, in my opinion. Gunther, we've got a Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, KO, upcoming Cody, that beautiful uh, Batista being re-released, but in blue. The main event line is awesome. I love that Cody mold. He's got that sleeveless hoodie that he wore the night before WrestleMania, which I think is a great selling point. That translucent John Cena. I never thought we'd see the day. Funko did one. I love this even more. Python Power has finally made its way into the Mattel line. Re-release of that Mankind. Loving that uh, Roddy Piper and I'm Your Mommy t-shirt, Rhea Ripley, incredible. And it's not new news. One of my favorite lines is the Legends line, and we are getting Kurt Angle in the It's True, It's True. We're getting two new Farouks with a removable hat and a cloth goods jacket. Hulk Hogan in that signature t-shirt from the early 90s. And this, Anvil Nide Heart. It's going to be a two-in-one. As who, removable head, removable cloth goods. I absolutely love it. We're seeing a quick sneak peek of some greatest hits coming up there. The Ultimate Edition Taker, the Ultimate Edition Dusty, the Ultimate Edition Yokozuna with Chase. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff for this line. And speaking of Ultimates, over at the Coliseum Collection, we did see a little bit closer in-depth look at the Million Dollar Man and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, the upcoming two-pack at Mattel Creations. Like I said, I do wish we saw some others, though, that we could get excited for, but this was my favorite. I told you I love the headbangers. Been one of my biggest ones for years. Bushwhackers are coming. Yes, those are just additional heads. They're going to have standard heads. I love that Dusty Rhodes KO and the honorary Us Sami Zayn. There's a new prototype of the LWO 5-pack that I'm stoked for. This 4-pack, the Ruthless Aggression Smackdown 4-pack, uh, is already up for pre-order on Target. From the Vault, Volume 1, right there. Volume 2 was shown off later. 
Loving the superstars line there. You see Big Boss Man. You see Kurt Angle. You see Tatanka. Brutus the Barber Beefcake and Reza Ramon is going to have a chase in those tights that he never wore but was used as concept art. So funny little tidbit. I'm in line here to pay for the merch I picked up. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, the main thing was the Undertaker pop and I got the Mr. T. And I'm taking video. I was shooting video the whole time and then randomly in line they say you're not allowed to shoot video. Meanwhile, everybody's got their cameras out. But as you're leaving the Superstore, there's these awesome banners of all of the matches from WrestleMania 40. So cool. And then over here is this massive graphic for the ladder match. And right there, up front, we got my man Woods. But to get into WWE World was insane. There's no order. There's nothing to follow. It's just a bunch of people, and you're hoping that everybody's in the right place in line. Put on our bracelets, came this way, and then you enter WWE World through this like entrance way like at a WWE event. Then over here, there is an actual uh, like screen and entrance stage that you could go up, play the music, and walk out. All the championships, new, old, used, very, very cool stuff. I mean, look at this. The Women's Tag Team Championship, beautiful. Got lights on it, giving away free Snickers. This was just like an overwhelming experience. The United States Championship right here. Look at that thing, beautiful. Wow. Logan Paul's plates on it. Got the World Heavyweight title. The Undisputed WWE Universal Championship right there with the Roman Reigns plates. This Intercontinental title, my favorite, the Oval. I always love this one. It's probably my favorite of all time. And then this original Intercontinental Championship, the green strap, which absolutely blew my mind to see in person, you know. And then now we got the ECW title. And the reason I filmed this one, the WWE ECW title, this was absolutely massive. It was the biggest belt there, and I couldn't believe it. Speaking of the ECW championship, they had the original Eastern Championship Wrestling title that Shane Douglas won and essentially started Extreme Championship Wrestling as well as the set for ECW. So cool. Look at the banners. Look at the entranceway. This was amazing. On display, in line to see the fun house, they had Sister Abigail. Very cool to see in person. As well as the Fiends WWE Championship unbelievable to see this thing in person and then they had ramblin rabbit the main uh costume that they wore on bray's return which was really cool to see the head on this is insane i still wish we got to see this come to fruition at full mass but over here they had that hundred million subscriber play button on display which is insane i can't even believe there's that many subscribers to the wwe channel and then they had the hall of fame wing with a bunch of different pieces on display like this Stunning Steve Austin's entrance robe. You know I was marking out for this one. Got Harley Race's robe over here. He just had the Dark Side of the Ring episode, which, uh, you know, a lot of sad stuff in there. Absolutely blew my mind. And this guy was a total badass. Classy Freddie Blassie, you know, to go along with the Muhammad Ali theme. Here's one of his jackets. Very cool to see. And here we have Mr. T's boxing trunks. This is awesome to see. Jerry the King Lawler's cape and crown. You know, we've seen this in figure form. Absolutely legendary, but something we haven't seen in figure form yet. Doth the road, baby. His robe and hat. How cool is this? Let's make this an elite. Come on, Mattel. Such a cool area over here. Thunderbolt lightning. I don't know much about Thunderbolt, but very cool to see this shirt and get a little history on something I don't know much about. Bull Nakano over here. There's the women's championship, which is awesome. Here's some of her gear, uh, her robes. It even has her wigs on there, which I thought was a very, very nice touch. Such a cool thing to see. Captain Lou Albano. Look at his shirt, man. That thing was pretty big, surprisingly. Wyndham Rotundo, uh, you know, obviously it's for the tag team, but, you know, I, I love Bray Wyatt, so it was cool to see that. Soul Man, Rocky Johnson right there, and an ECW trench coat, Paul Heyman, with the ECW pass. I tried to get a close-up of the pass for you guys to see. Also has some of his WCW gear right there, but, you know, the phone was the big selling point. As you walk towards the back, there's autograph signings. Here's Bobby Lashley. And then there is a stage for podcasts and interviews. Expectations were shaking out. We're about right here. You had no expectations. 
expectations for him to be great at all. But Shane McMahon's work ethic, his work ethic is unbelievable. Do you help with all the all the colors, or do you have somebody who you can trust to go, hey, I need one, give me one, and they got good stuff, you know what I mean? Every now and then I'll, I'll like, Padre City Connect colors. When I saw those colors, I was like, oh, I need to get them. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so when I did, I got myself an Alpha Bowl of what we do. I get to play in the Super Bowl game, and man, I don't know if you guys know this. I want to win for you so bad. Thank you guys. Thanks. I came over to the tattoo station and mommy was getting a tattoo. She had her brace on. She's drinking that C4. Her back was jacked, but she was awesome to be around. Very sweet person. Very nice to all the fans and very gracious. They had a lot of sets on display, but this was my favorite, the WWF In Your House. So cool to see. They also had a ring set up for you to get into and take pictures, but I didn't do that because I didn't really have time. I had to get out of here so I could head over to Dave & Buster's for Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Live 19. Look at the official. Look at the distinguished face. What are they talking about? Yeah, very distinguished. Shout out Liquid Blue. Like, it's just wonderful. Yeah, I grew up playing with wrestling figure styles. I probably about 15 when that dad killed him. <laughs> uh, Once again, like I said, you're in a safe place. A lot of my dad's like, oh, yeah. I like wrestling. So you had like a big fan. Yeah, oh, right. I had the setup. I threw my TV on the floor. So I had the Titan show. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who was the top guy? Top guy? Uh, Edge was oh. the figure that I used, but I made it myself because I wanted to do it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. You guys know I'm a total merch guy, so I had to check out the merch they had for sale. They had turnbuckles. They had foam fingers, live in Philly middle fingers, which I think is pretty cool with the major WF pod, ECF and W style logo. They had a limited edition uh, exclusive major bendy, Tommy Dreamer in that fake yellow and black ECW OSFTM style shirt, which I thought was pretty cool. Pretty predictable, but I thought it was really cool to do. They had some exclusive hats, major WF pod, and these awesome Philly Live 19 cups. I mean, look at that deathmatch king one. I definitely debated picking that up. If only there were two guys on this stage who own a wrestling figure company. Yeah. So, Fig Vault and I are trying to find parking in a parking garage so we can go to WrestleCon and the Blind Barber. And there's fucking nothing. But we got a ticket. So, if we leave, we got to pay anyway. We are parking somewhere. The city is a madhouse. We got a spot. We have finally made it to WrestleCon. There's Colt Cabana. There are vendors, wrestlers, autograph signings, figures everywhere. This is awesome. Over here, Nails was doing an appearance. And look, he's choking out the dude with his nightstick. 
And this is what we came for. I'm gonna be here like 10 minutes and I have to bounce. We technically sold out for the day and I just like set up. Is that the Nick back there? Oh uh, yeah, Nick Nick. We got Arn, Maven, Eddie, we got the Demolition, the ECW, we got Butterbean. We got my man Connect here. Heels and faces shirt. Yeah, it is. Cool. I like that. Dude, these really are awesome. I don't feel like they're amazing. Tommy's got them all. Is that Scorpio? Yes, sir. Nah, sir. Oh my god. The Henry Goblin is awesome. I never showed these yet. Am I invading on this? I will. We got Shane Douglas. Is that Francine? Coming soon, heels and faces. Oh yeah. Are you big heel? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Thanks for I see your orders. Awesome. Look at this Fushi, man. The lettering, and it's not like the same lettering all over. It's like all different. Wow. It took forever to do that, man. It's been in production for like almost three years, believe it or not. Wow. Wow. And, and they're not all decals. These are like pad prints. Yeah. And the quality on this is like ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's. That's some more. Hold on. I, can, I have another card. It's okay. I can add the answer. Jackson, Honey, Slick. That Gargano that everybody's dying for. Unreal. Me and the man. My damn toys. Peggy Lynch. My, my damn toys and my damn figs. Chilling up in WrestleCon. Left WrestleCon came to the Blind Barber for the Wrestling for Sale 15th pop-up. Over here, they had these awesome fanny packs, like old vintage titles, bunch of vintage shirts, as well as new custom ones, like these custom Billy Gunn shorts. They had this WrestleMania 15 Big Pun shirt, which was awesome. Look at these WCW, NWO, N64 Revenge shirts, Bad Bunny, Mikey Whipwreck. They had Method Man DX, Jim the Anvil Neidhart in the way of those LOD and Shawn Michaels shirts in the WWF era, as well as this Cactus Jack hat. Extra Cooler was in the house. My man, he had a bunch of cool art as well as shirts, including these Disney Macho Man uh, Mickey Mouse shirts, which were cool. Wrestling for Sale is a pro. Had to get these Wrestling for Sale bags made up. Shout out to Ted. I had a table with stickers, flyers, magnets, as well as all of my books, every coloring book, color mania, as well as the wrestling figure encyclopedia, um, black and white and full color edition for sale at a discounted rate. You guys basically cleaned me out. So thank you so much. I'm going to get more books and we're going to do a whatnot exclusive uh, book signing. So stay tuned for that. A lot of cool stuff here. And remember, figs don't suck. 
you. Oh, that, is so dope, that is dope, man. So clutch to have the red piper sing, man. Bro, that's like, that's sick. This Dustin Rhodes WWE shirt blew my mind, but I'm gonna show you a couple clips from the ECW arena at the Busted Open show that my buddy Boulder sent over. It is Sunday, leaving the gym now, heading home, calm before the storm, and then I am going over to my buddy Tommy's house. We're heading into the city for WrestleMania 40 so we can watch Cody Rhodes finish the story and take down the final boss and the tribal chief. It's gonna be a historical night. Because this is the first WrestleMania of the Paul Levesque era.
Ahí nos compran pa.
by greatness in this ring. I'm surrounded by greatness in this stadium. Fuck there are two Kobe. people. I would not have been here. I would have literally never made it back to the WWE without one of them. I want them to come out here, and that's Bruce Pritchard. And then the other, the other is pleading and kicking and doesn't want to come out here. But we have started a brand new era. He is the leader of that era. Please, Triple H, come on down. So that wraps up WrestleMania. I got to tell you, WrestleMania did not end great for me on the ride home. Uh, my friend and I, he was driving. I was passenger. Uh, drunk driver hit us. Uh, neck's a bit stiff. Hit my head. But thankfully, both of us were okay. No serious injuries. Could have been a lot worse. He got the, you know, the other driver got arrested, thankfully. Um, but yeah, so that was not the best ending of the night. But... Cody winning, sure enough, was. Um, you know, to be honest, going into WrestleMania week, there was not a doubt in my mind that Cody was going to finish the story. Saturday night. No, Friday night, sorry. SmackDown. I started to... I was like, what if Roman wins? What if Roman wins? You know, he's getting close to that Hulk Hogan... He could win. He might. He might. I don't know. I don't know. And then I started leaning towards Roman. I'm thankfully I was wrong. They did give out free prime at the end of WrestleMania. I wish I got one of those. Um, I kind of wish I went to the second night. I mean the first night, but it is what it is, right? Great Mania week for me. Did a lot of stuff. Thank you to everybody who came out to the book signing. Thank you to the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast for having me in Fig Vault. Thank you, Fig Vault. Thank you, My Damn Toys. Thank you to a few people I can't really name right now because there's some cool things coming. Thank you to Ringside. Bumped into Ringside John at WrestleMania Night 2. Easily one of my favorite people in the community. Love Ringside John. Uh, he's the man. Thank you to Steve. Thank you to Bill. Thank you to Mattel. Thank you to WWE. I mean, everybody, thank you so much. Anybody who came up to me, who asked for a picture, anybody who bought a book, anybody who asked, uh, you know, me to sign a book thank you so much anybody who came up to me at the venues it honestly thank you so much for the support it means the world to me and i can't wait to uh bring you more fake heel stuff we got a lot of good stuff on the way but uh hope you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and tiktok at fig heel twitter is at the fig heel pick up the wrestling figure encyclopedia and join whatnot at whatheel.com and you'll get 15 dollars off your first purchase i'm gonna go ice this neck your boy is hurting, but uh, it was definitely one for the books. Cody finished the story, baby. Can't see, wait to see where this goes, so peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.